So here's an interesting question. What if your only protein source came from egg? What would happen? Would you build up all this cholesterol in your arteries and die of a heart attack, maybe a stroke? Well, actually, no, you would not. And let me explain why. In six major clinical studies, it was found that eggs did not increase or was not associated with heart disease in healthy people. They talk about all the benefits of eggs and how it doesn't create a problem other than increase your good cholesterol and have all these other nutrients, but the recommendation is really less than two eggs a day, which is interesting. If eggs are so good, why aren't they recommending that? And I'm gonna to get to that in a minute. If you look at any and all negative studies relating to eggs, they're all questionnaire studies, they're observational studies, and those are not real credible studies at all. So if you have a political slant or maybe a certain bias and you want a study to look a certain way, just do an observational study because you could make those look any which way you want. And you're basically just giving people a bunch of questions and forcing them to answer uh, a certain way. Um, first of all, how, do you, how, how is someone gonna remember what they ate even two days ago, let alone months or even years ago? So what would happen if you just relied on eggs as your only source of protein? You'd actually do much better health-wise. And that's what I wanna get into in this video. I think the big problem that people have with eggs is uh, being brainwashed. I mean, educated in that eggs are high in cholesterol when in fact they are high in cholesterol, okay? But they also contain lecithin, okay? Which is the antidote to cholesterol. They're loaded with choline, which is in, it's actually one of the ingredients in bile salts that helps break down cholesterol, and as well as B3, which is probably the best antidote to cholesterol problems. So if you're concerned at all about eggs increasing your cholesterol and, and making things worse, you don't have to have that concern anymore. Now, what's so different about eggs versus other sources of protein? The egg is the highest quality source of protein other than breast milk, okay? It has virtually every nutrient that you need and its, uh, it's amino acid profile is complete. The nutrients and amino acids are very bioavailable. The waste product from eggs is so minimal because you're utilizing all this great protein. So eggs are number one, meat is number two, dairy is three, and plant-based protein is low on the list. In fact, the protein you get from plant-based sources is actually pretty poor. And unfortunately, as much as you hear on the news about everything shifting to plant-based, that every man, woman, and child should be a, a vegan, you have to realize that the studies are observational and there's so much political bias going on right now regarding plant-based away from real science. And of course, the attack against red meat is big time. Uh, they put it in the same category as processed meat and even of the same caliber as like sugar and refined sugars. So here you have this meat that we've been eating for, you know, thousands and thousands of years. It's just not just nutrient dense, but if you're consuming something that's grass fed, grass finished, uh, you're getting a, a very high source of protein that can greatly help you, not just with your muscles, but repair the proteins overall in general. Sometimes people think about proteins as just muscle, but you have all the enzymes in your body, the different metabolic pathways are all protein. Um, a good portion of your skin is protein. A good portion of your bone is protein. Your immune system is protein. So when we're trying to replenish or repair proteins, we need sufficient proteins and a bioavailable source that our body can really use efficiently but eggs are at the top of the list, okay? One egg will give you seven grams of protein and virtually every single nutrient. It may not give you all the vitamin C, but it will give you the B vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K1 and K2, omega-3 fatty acids. So it's just packed full with nutrients, okay? So other types of protein, are just like muscle protein, but egg is a very unique source of protein because it's not just a muscle protein. It has a lot of amazing things and additional 
factors that can help your health. Uh, one being something called sphingomyelin. Okay, what is that? Well, that's a compound that can help prevent placking in your vascular system. So if you're still hung up on this idea that eggs might clog your arteries, actually it doesn't. It actually prevents the placking of your arteries. Choline, which is a really important nutrient that can help prevent a fatty liver. In fact, if you're deficient in choline, you will get a fatty liver. But choline is also necessary for a healthy brain. And choline is a really good antidote to uh, high cholesterol. Okay, lutein and zeaxanthin. These are two compounds that greatly support the macula of the eye. That's the back part of the eye. And the macula helps you with central vision. It also will help to act as a, like a filter for, for UV radiation, as well as filtering blue light. So there's a thing called age-related macular degeneration. And these two compounds can help prevent that condition. Then we have something called phospholipids. What's that? It's a combination between lipids and phosphorus, which is a great anti-inflammatory. It's very important in building your cell membranes. And then we have the, the protein in egg. So people have been confused about the egg whites and the yolk. Okay, They think that all the protein is in the egg whites. But did you realize that if we compare per 100 gram of the yolk versus the white, the yolk has 16.4 grams of protein per 100 gram, and the white only has 10.8 grams of protein per 100 gram. So per weight, the yolk has more protein, not to mention it has so many other things that are essential for repair and even preventing something called sarcopenia which is a age-related muscle loss condition. In fact, I'll put one study below that compares consuming whole eggs versus just the egg whites. And it demonstrated that if you have the whole egg, you have better results with post-exercise repair and muscle building. So if you're trying to build muscle and you're just doing the egg whites, you might wanna do the whole egg. The other thing I'm going to mention as a side note is what about just, you know, drinking your eggs raw? Well, the, the problem with raw eggs, and I'm not against it in certain amounts, but raw eggs have a protease inhibitor. Okay. That means that um, the enzyme that help break down protein is inhibited. So you may not get the full benefit of that egg white, not to mention you may develop a biotin deficiency if you have a large amount. And so this compound is kind of nullified when you heat the egg, when you cook the egg. And the best form of an egg I would recommend is uh, something like an over easy egg where the egg yolk is runny, okay, but you're cooking the white part. But even if you scramble your egg or you hard boil your egg, you're still getting a lot of benefits. So I don't wanna get too far in the woods with um, the cooking methods of an egg, but I will say that uh, at this point, realize that eggs in general are super, super healthy, especially if you want to get a high quality source of amino acid. There's even some data on certain compounds in eggs giving an anti-cancer effect, as well as an immunomodulation effect, which can help um, regulate your immune system. So the idea of consuming eggs as your primary uh, protein source, it really, the only drawback I see that it has is nothing related to health. It has to do with maybe boredom and making your foods more interesting by adding different protein sources. But if you were to just to consume eggs as your primary protein source, you would not only increase your health, but you would probably increase your digestion as well because eggs seem to be very easily digested for most people unless you have an allergy. So realize that eggs only have seven grams of protein, right? So depending on your the size of your body, how much you weigh, how much muscle you have, um, your age really will determine how much uh, protein you really need to replenish uh, those amino acids. So less than two eggs a day is not going to cut it, okay? So maybe if you have two, three, four or more eggs per meal, now we're getting to an amount that your body really needs to satisfy its requirements. Since we're on the topic of eggs, if you haven't seen this video, okay, on chickens, you might want to check that out. I put it right here.